In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to RASMOL, which is a tool for being able to visualise three-dimensional molecules. When it comes to thinking about seeing biological molecules in 3D, we have to remember that proteins, nucleic acids and other similar molecules are only between 1 and 50 nanometers in size, where a nanometer is 10 to the minus 9 of a metre. So these are incredibly small, uh, far too small to see with a naked eye or indeed with a standard microscope. Fortunately, various techniques now allow us to collect data on the three-dimensional shape of biomolecules of this type. Those techniques include X-ray crystallography, NMR spectroscopy, and most recently, cryo-electron microscopy. Now each of these different methods uh, generates a large amount of data and that's in quite a com it requires quite a lot of complicated mathematical processing so mere mortals like the rest of us can't easily understand what that data is showing us. So how do we get to understand what that complicated data means in terms of three-dimensional shape? Well that's where molecular visualization packages and modelling tools come into, into their own. Now, why would we want to see the shape of proteins? Well, an understanding of how they are shaped, how that shape changes with, with response to different conditions, and how they perhaps interact together are clear ways of understanding how they function. There are a variety of tools that we could use. The one I'm, we're going to be talking about in this particular video is called RASMOL. You can find it at rasmol.org and it's a free tool with which you can visualise structures. It has to be said right from the outset that there are better resources available, certainly if you want to do any molecular modelling. That is, rather than just simply look at the structure, be able to, to manipulate it in some way and see if you can change how, think about how it would change shape if you change the conditions. And a classic tool which is used both in teaching and in research would be something called PyMol. So that's PyMol.org. But those tools, such as PyMol, have a much steeper learning curve than RASMOL. So for introductory programmes, RASMOL still has a useful purpose to serve. It is, however, unfortunately limited to Windows users. The most recent version of RASMOL was launched back in 2009, and unfortunately, it's no longer compatible with the most recent Mac operating systems. So in this video, what I want to give you is a quick introduction to how to download RASMOL. There are companion videos which will look at finding protein structures in the so-called PDB, the Protein Database, and also introducing you to the main items and commands in the RASMOL package itself. And accompanying that, there will be some additional videos which will introduce particular examples of important biological molecules and how we can look at their structure and tie it to their function in 3D using RASMOL. Okay, so if you were to go to that website, uh, www.rasmol.org, this is what you were to see. And you can tell straight away that it hasn't been updated for a while. This is a very old look, old fashioned looking website. We can see on the right hand side here on yellow that there's a link there for RASMOL 2.7.5 Windows installer, that it remains the most recent version of RASMOL at the time that this video has been made. And interestingly, on the left hand side, you can see a mirrored menu there where it says latest Windows installer. And with the best one in the world, I cannot see what the difference between those two links is. And they seem to be the same menus on both sides. So you can effectively choose either of those and you can click on that link and it will download uh, the RASMOL package as an EXE file just as the way you would have with any software that you were downloading and you'll then need to click on that and get it to open on your own computer. So in the next video then we'll look at now that you've got the RASMOL software how can you access protein structural data, for example, from the PDB protein database.